Hello and welcome to the Hobby Corner. Today we are going to be discussing the reveals from today's Warhammer Fest uh, live stream. So have a look at the Warhammer community website because bits and pieces here. And uh, we'll have a go at trying to dissect and discuss the reveals from today. Of course, today is the first of four days of reveals. Um, and it's all online as well. So there's always a bit of controversy. Some people get a bit upset when they don't get what they want. Um, other people get overexcited about some of the stuff that's not really that exciting but you know it's all subject to opinion and uh you know what you like and don't like so i will do my best to model for it and uh let me know what you think in the comments below as well as uh whether or not you agree with me disagree it's all good that's what we're here for to have a nice open discourse about it all uh it is the 4th of may may the 4th be with you to all you star wars nerds um <laughs> big loves uh, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. So, there uh, the live stream. There's no point watching that really. But let's just dive right in. We got our Space Marines. Okie dokie. Right, what have they done with these? Build Heretic Astartes reveal, Revel in the Blessings of the Chaos Gods. That's a nice bit of artwork there. Very colourful. Um, so has a much more classic warhammer aesthetic to it i feel you know it's not it's not so clean uh, a lot of the modern artwork has been a bit too clean from uh likings as if our omens have revealed the new codex chaos space marines and teased at the unholy boons within we've already learned that corrupt legionaries who spill forth from the eye of terror are getting a panoply of accursed improvements and extra wounds not least among them but what else do the dark gods have in store for those who have turned as light reinforcements lots of reinforcements all right okay so the dark gods provide um i'm not gonna watch the video because every time i do i end up getting <laughs> Uh, hang on, mute it. It's not a problem now. See if I can. Uh, I can't speed it up. Right. So let's start at the beginning. Let's have a look. See. Uh, right. That looks painful. Could you imagine you're on your merry little corrupted way, and all of a sudden a demon just bursts out of your spleen? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, wrong time, wrong place, Gary. Sorry about that, mate. <laughs> He's even got it. That, what, a bit of uh, script work just hammered to his hand. All right. Carry on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, look. I mean, but, like, that dude is just now a skin tag. Like, <laughs> just hanging off this demon. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Throwing your lot away just to end up as a skin tag. Bloody hell. But these look pretty cool as well. Nice to have um, some variety there. Um, yeah. It's always good to have more Chaos Cultists. Oh, Alright. Alright. They're getting more elaborate and um, imaginative with their art, aren't they? With the sculpts. The eyeballs hanging out everywhere. Again, look, you know, it's, it's like another demon's just about to pop out of that dude, like, us from a ripe uh, whitehead. Pop out. Nice. Um, so, look. Oh, look, females. There you go, females. <laughs> it sounds like the dad from Friday Night Dinner. <laughs> females. Females. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Here, moving on. All right, you got a shouty guy. All right, very loud shouty guy. Um, and you got some what greater possessed, uh, Chaos Space Marines at the back there. Pretty cool. Um, oh, well, look, there we go. Look, you got a blade guard type dude as well. That's a big old bloody axe there. They got a lot going on in there, aren't they? There's two swordy dudes. Uh, as you know, I ha I didn't really catch the live stream. This is all new for me. Dude, that face. 
That face is so dumb. <laughs> like, in the best way possible. Like, that's just captured the dumb, fanatic look that you would have as your face, or not, as your chest rips open to reveal a demonic maw. That's just brutal. I think, I like, you know, a lot of people like the um, the way they paint stuff as well. I, I don't mind it. I find it's just a different way to paint. Very clean note. Like, if demonic bits are going to pop out, you're going to smother that in gore and blood. 100%. Um, got a lot going on, haven't they? Whoa, another skin tag person. Look at that. You don't look too happy, do you? So I'm guessing this is what brings forth the... Um, the de demonic uh, possessions. Ah, that looks, that arm's like sort of halfway forming into a wing, and that was fully just like flapping about. Oh, okay. Just really bad. You know, you just, oh, I got such a bad back today. Oh, just just stretch that out. Ah, and then you turn into that fucking thing. <laughs> Um, sorry for banging the micro as well. Um, dude's got tentacles and he's on armpit. Okay, that might be mildly irritating. Uh, what else we got here? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What, well, these greater possessed then? Makes sense. That's a big old claw. Got some in the background as well. That's cool. They've needed a bit of a, a refresh, really, like a nice, a nice multi-part kit. Really, you make the most of them. Because the only greater possessed ones they had was on the Blackstone Fortress um, sprue that later on got put into a start collecting box, I think. I also got it in the uh, the first premium kit for the Imperium magazine. So, um, you know, it's just monopose two very identical poses but different like things you could do with them that's cool nice nice, nice chain sword warp shell set us free there you go shouty dude uh, skin tag dude lady thing great possessed thing looking rather gnarly is that the fingers is that on the back hand oh hang on hang on Oh no, it's not. Okay. I was going to say, that'd be so rad. Right, you just... <laughs> you have a chain axe on the back of your hand and you just chain axe backhand people. <laughs> Alright, let's carry on. Uh, so, yeah, sword dude. Got some more possessed people. Nice. Very nice. Uh, some... Ooh, there you go. New curve space ring. Very cool. New Chaos Tech Marine. Very cool. Lots of Ribblies there. That's the Great Possessed. The Dark Gods cool and we answer. Let the galaxy burn. <laughs> Alright, cool. Very nice. Um, so there you go. That's. They look pretty cool. Very cool. Pretty good. Cool. Cool. Good. Um, it's nice to have a little bit of an update on them. Hey, look! It's a new Space Marine! Yay! Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So, yeah. Hey, look good. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some similar poses as they always are in these multi park kits, but it'd be nice to see a um, multitude of loadouts that you can arrange uh so with your devout word bearer eager to share your body with a creature of warp an unfortunate uh, victim of the legion's master of possession simply want to field a spectacular squad devastating demon king these warped and mutated creatures will fit into any force new codex Okie dokie new space marine um uh, very cool here's is the mortals who are Silly enough to throw a lot in. But, um, very cool. Nice new poses, new sculpts. 
the new approach and um, easily can be painted up to represent any of the uh, chaos factions as well and then what are these new accursed cultists oh okay so they're sort of just gone that little bit too far with their uh, warp spawned mutations very nice that just ripping through ya those nice claws ah tentacle coming out of your mouth come on man I thought this was 40k not hente <laughs> <laughs> all right um that kind of looks a bit wooden doesn't it <laughs> like <laughs> you thought you'd get salvation with the dark gods you're barking up the wrong tree mate ah. <laughs> All right, and then we have torments. Okay. All right, so that's what these are called, torments. Just very unfortunate souls. Just like living their life, living their best life, you know? Jeez. Forget that, man. You're just an accessory for these demons. Um, And then, of course, you've got these... Um, what are they called? The Dark Commune. So they're a HQ for them. So yeah, that's pretty badass standard actually. Really rad. Um, I don't know why tentacles are under the armpit. Maybe just to hold, keep his arm up, I guess. Um, big old sword, of course. This. No idea what's going on with that, but that's... That's pretty rad. <laughs> um... Is that dude? Is it actually that dude's face, or is it another face? Something like I guess it's yeah, someone else's face it's floating in front of his. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. All right, next up we have the leagues of Photon. Photon. Uh, so the leagues of Photon get on their trikes. We. So um, yeah, we've got a little sneak peek before. Ah. There we go. Why not? Let's uh, have a look at you. Oh, okay. Imperial Chopper. It's an interesting way to advertise it. Okay. Ooh. Okay. 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 Literally flying saucers there. Cool. <laughs> All right. I can I could dig that. Almost, almost sort of like a like a hint of steampunk, but not quite because it's too too sci-fi for it. But it kind of has its roots in that design. It was like um sort of Tesla style coils. That's pretty cool though. Got big ass gun. Uh, lots going on there. Dude's tiny. Big old gun on him, yeah. Got lots of ration supplies. Nice mini. I wonder if they're going to have uh, more variety going on as well. Uh, either within that kit or if it comes as a unit or something. Either way. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, and there's the... <laughs> it's the original... <laughs> Oh my god. And people have been crying over these for what the last 20 odd years. Like, oh my squats are gone. Like, dude. <laughs> that's so dirty. <laughs> and that's coming from a, a dwarf fan, you know? How derpy is that? Come on now. Even for like 80s games workshop standard, that's just Oh my days, like 90s, early 90s, Games Workshop standard, that's still bad. <laughs> Alright, um, so yeah, it's a nice little refresh, definite, I mean, like, there's scale creep there right now. <laughs> oh dear, I know, it looks cool, I like the fact that there's a very clever uh, point that it's on the floor, so it gives that sort of hovering look. I can see people 
sticking this on um, like a, a magnet plate, you know, with the battery powered <laughs> magnet, have it actually float in place. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's no hints to any variety there, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, I guess this is going to be like maybe a Christmas release. It's a Unkin Pioneer. All right, so we got the chapter approved. Okay, so new one for this year, Warzone and Nephilim Grand Tournament. All right, so it's going to be all the extra nonsense for tournament play and all that lovely stuff. If you're into it, cool. Um, I don't really chase these mission packs or expansions because I feel like it's unnecessary um, bloat to your rules and playing and everything like that. And you don't really need it. And just stick with the book standard game. It pick out which uh, campaign books you want and stuff like that. So I think people get a bit too hung up on that. And you need to remember that this, unless this is exactly what you're playing, this is not a necessity. Let's face it, these miniatures are old as F. These, not so much. They're, what, they're about 10 years. Um, They've got an upgrade sprue to update them. That's it. But I think what a lot of people um, forget is that Hero Guard or Astro Militarum, they have over the years got new miniatures and new kits. You got the um, Astro Solitarum dudes or whatever they're called, and those Kazakhan chaps. Um, like they, they've had flyers, they've had new vehicles and stuff like that. They've even had special characters and that. So, okay, the Cadian stuff has been replaced, and the tanks, which. I mean, let's face it, there's nothing to improve on a Lehman Rust tank or a Chimera. They are what they are, exactly what they need to be. You know, there's nothing really. I think people just want new Cadians, that's it. Anyway, so uh, points updates will be free. Of the new season, 40k. Be able to get them on the app. Okay, so, and if you've got Warhammer Plus. All right, all right, all right. Blood skulls and the butcher's nails. The world eaters are getting their own codex. About bloody time. So uh, let's see what's going on with them. I'm guessing this is going to be uh, maybe it's got to be late, late in the year, hasn't it? They haven't leaked anything from uh, or previewed anything from the actual world eater stuff just yet. Um, let's see. Well, they actually have something on here. Do black, okay. So he's talking us through, I guess. Yada yada yada. Let's go for the skull throne. That's a cool bit of art. Um, yada yada yada. Something happened in that place. Thanks to Khan, the betrayer. Uh, oh yeah, the world eaters splitting. There's them fightings. Blood Angels. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This is what they do. They hack slash it. Alright, there they go. Got some more art. Okay. I'm going to assume there is. Yeah, they're not going to. The time for the sword time. Uh, coming soon. It is now. All right, so um, all right, so you got your Death Guard in Thousand Sun book. Um, so yeah, it says it's uh, way off as well. Oh, there we go. Let a nice little preview of their axes. So yeah, it's probably about a year off. Um, if you remember the uh, Sisters of Battle, they were doing rendering as well. Oh, sorry, they're, they're showing the renders. Of what was coming up of those sculpts and it was about a year before they got a release uh so yeah cool 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 cool, cool. that's cool all right let's knock it on the head and move on all right we got all right so angels of death wasn't actually a bad uh show uh i enjoyed it there were some bits which you know where the audio um didn't quite meet with the animation with the animation got a bit janky but the majority of it was actually quite enjoyable Oh, 
He's floating in space. Okay. The little pirouette. Oh, ooh, okay. He looks confused. Um, existential crisis. Bossing people around. I will let everyone die. Ew. And she's like, oh, let's just. Yeah, everyone die. A victory. <laughs> Alright, okay, coming soon. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Each prequel, it will be around. Oh, okay, so. Uh, longer episodes, 25 minutes long, that's cool. Uh, Ill Command is the first in a series that will explore the backstories of some of the most popular characters from... Okay, so it's like a, a little anthology or something. Each episode being a different story, but all tied in leading up to first season. And then there'll be a season two. Okie dokie, cool. I'll wait for it all to be released and then I will subscribe for one month to watch them all on a binge. Right. Ooh, Demon Prince, let's go. Alright, revealed. The all new Demon Prince spreads his wings in Warhammer 40k. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Um, so yeah, we've seen the uh, the new Demon Prince, um, but not the 41st Millennium version, so let's do it. Let's have a look see. Um, do got wings? Do got who's? That's the fantasy version. Yep. Look at that face. He's a happy Larry, isn't he? Hey, all those skulls hanging around. I do like. I do like that. That armor. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. His wings are pretty cool. Um, and there you go. There's the 40k version. Replace wings for battle pack. Um, but you also got all the piping and everything in there. I think the base body is the same. But it looks like a lot is different on there as well. Um, I'm guessing there's a lot of customizable options, in it, which is good. But then look at the detail on there. The horns, the sp Oh, they got the mounted uh, arm cannon again. That's cool. From the old metal mini before they went to plastic and he stopped having it. Alright, that looks cool. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of happy people. That's a pretty dope sword. Yeah. That's a pretty dope sword. We'll get some fleur uh, paints to give that justice for a nice little glow. Um. Yep, swap feet and everything like that. That looks exactly like the hand that was used for the other demon. So, yeah. Bits and pieces swapped around and that. You can have a laugh. And you can have metal claws. Lots of skulls. With warpy power source there as well. And the different faces. Okay, so that would be like the more corn one. The Nurgle one with a big old pussy tongue. Zinch as well. And Slanesh. Very cool, very cool. Um, each looking very distinct and very, very gnarly. Uh, I don't think that would be a 60 mil bit. I don't know. Who knows? Um, so yeah, that is day one. Uh, so that's a fair amount, I'd say. Not as much as some people were hoping for and not exactly the stuff that some people were hoping for. Um, but there's plenty to keep you uh, busy, especially for the Chaos Faction um, in 40k. Um, I mean, yeah, lots lots of nice stabby stuff, as you'd expect. Be more interested to see what happens on day two for the Age of Sigma stuff. And um, yeah, uh, I'll be giving my thoughts on those as well. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about those. Um, and what you thought was worth waiting for and what sort of let you down on that reveal and uh yeah as always like share subscribe all that beautiful stuff 
I'll see you in the next one. Big loves. Peace.